coming up. Our part of the country is hot and humid, and that's becoming a big thing all over the U.S. now. You're just going to get along a whole lot better with eared cattle. And to see the people who come in, how impressed they are with the quality of meat. Actually doing probably 10 times what we ever projected it to be. Take a new look at high-performance Brahmin genetics next on The American Rancher. Pam Minnick and welcome to The American Rancher. Since the early days of the American beef industry, the heat and insect tolerant Brahmin breed has been the foundation of ranches across the South. Now, producers everywhere are taking a new look at the breed, including those who are taking advantage of the explosive growth of the farm to table segment of the industry. This new look at high-performance Brahmin genetics is courtesy of Woody Folsom and his crew at Circle F Farms in Baxley, Georgia. I was um, born and raised here in Baxley. I was the only child. My mom ran a convenience store, and my dad was a frozen fruit manager at um, Winn-Dixie. We had a little 50-acre farm and different types of row crop, and always had cattle. Back then, my daddy was, was really interested in Brahmin cattle. That's all, that's all he wanted to have was Brahmin cattle. Soon after graduating high school, Woody was hired as a new car salesman at a local dealership. It was there that his lifelong passion for entrepreneurialism began to flourish. In 1996, I bought my first Chevrolet dealership. And basically, when, when I bought that dealership, I had to liquidate everything that I had was liquid. In 2001, I decided that I felt like I had everything going pretty good, so I purchased my first big farm, which a neighbor of mine had. It was 496 acres. So in 2001, we established Circle F Farms. I started out with um, maybe 50 Brayford cattle. At that time, we couldn't get but 45 to 50 F1 Brayfords per year. You know, that's all he had, you know, coming up for sale each year. And, and we just got in line and bought 45 to 50 or 36, whatever was available that year. But we kindly went up to push to, we was pretty close to 500 head. In 2008, um, you know, everything kindly got sideways. You know, um, the car business was terrible. Um, diesel fuel was high. And, you know, we in a farming area here, and, you know, 90% of our business is truck business and diesel truck business. The banks didn't really want to finance anybody a car, even if, and I'm talking about people with good credit, they wasn't interested. Big down payments, they wasn't interested. I kept telling myself, it's gonna get better, it's gonna get better, it's gonna get better. And you know, I kind of um, was in a position where I didn't kind of put ever, everything I had to, to kind of keep hanging on to times got better. And you know, time was running out. So um, one day I woke up and I said, I don't have no choice. I got to do something I really hate to do. So I went out to my farm, met with my ranch manager, Joe Eason. I told him, I said, Joe, I said, I'm gonna have to make one of the biggest decisions I've ever made in my lifetime. And he said, what in the world? I said, we're gonna have to sell these Brayford cattle. He said, what, what you mean? I said, Joe, it's tough. I said, you know, I said, the car business is bad. And I said, I've held on as long as I can. I said, and you know, the only thing that I got with value right now is these Brayford cattle. And I said, you know, they paid for and I'm gonna have to liquidate them and turn them into my business. I said, you know, my business kinda got them here and you know, it's time to repay the business back. I said, I feel like if we can just ride this thing out, it'll turn around. That was a pretty tough deal that day. We sit on the front porch at the house and had us a big cry about it. We hated to turn them cattle loose, you know, we liked them, they was good cattle, but just put us in a bad position. In a, so within three days, I think it was in the end, within three days of that, we, we, had them, we had them all sold. I got on the phone and called a couple people and man showed up. And be honest with you, when he come, he come to buy them. And um, we had 496 pairs. They was, they was all bred back and had calves on their side. Within a couple hours, I'd sold him them cattle for a million dollars. I went straight to the bank and put it in my checking account for my automobile dealership. The cattle saved me. Between 75 and 90 days, 
Everything turned around and the sun started shining again. And in about 12 months, we was back where we started and we started looking for more cattle. We'd been without them long enough. I got lined up with the man we sold the cattle to, and that, they had heifer, they had calves by their side. And at the end of the year, when he weaned them, we bought them heifers back. And uh, and and uh, the next, and they was bred. So we, when they them, they calved the next spring, we bought them. We also bought them heifers back. So, but then, but then, you know, a couple of years we had we was back to 400 head pretty quick. Woody and Joe started to build back the herd with Brayford and Brangus cattle. But within a few years, Woody experienced another tragic event. 2013 was a tough year for me. Um, that's when my dad passed away. One day, I was sitting there and I got a phone call from my mama. She said, we got a check today that was your daddy's. And she said, I don't know what to do with it. She said, I don't need this money. And she said, I just want to give it to you and, and um, you know, put it in your business. And I said, um, I said, Mama, I said, I don't want to do that. I said, I know about that money. I said, I'd put that money up for Daddy a retirement. I said, I'll tell you what. I said, won't you just sleep on it tonight? So we met back together the next day. And um, I, when I come in there, I told her, I said, Mama, I come up with a great idea. I told her, I said, look here, Daddy loved Brahmin cattle. I said, let's take this money and buy some Brahmin cattle. And I said, that'd be in honor of my daddy. I said, we'll put them here. So she said, she said, son, there's nothing in the world to make me more happier than you do that. She said, I love Brahman just as much as your daddy did. And she said, um, let's do it. After the break. Kindly blows me away how well let's do it. Actually doing probably 10 times what we ever projected it to do. Woody discovers a new opportunity for Circle F Brahman genetics. That story is after the break here on The American Rancher. back to the American Rancher. Woody Folsom and his family operate Circle F Farms in Baxley, Georgia. After the death of his father in 2013, Woody and his mother made a decision that soon put Circle F Farms on the map for developing performance Brahmin genetics. I had a good friend of mine that I'd done a little bit of business with. He is, um, his name is Milton Carranza. So Milton is from um, College Station, Texas. And I called him and kindly told him what me and Mom had agreed on. I said, Milton, I said, I want to buy a set of Brahmin cattle. And I said, I want you to help me get them. And I said, I want you to go out and find the best ones that, that ever walked. I said, I want to buy them and I want to buy them, you know, to put them on this place and honor my daddy. And, I, and he said, all right. And then, you know, Milton understands how I am. He knew, I mean, when I asked him to do something or asked anybody, you know, I'm kind of impatient. I want it done for Saturday night, you know. So to make a long story short, from the last few years, we got 580 some registered females and every female on my place that I haven't raised has a V8 brand or a Hudgens brand. And then we turned around and done the same thing with bulls and we swapped them up. You know, we'd put a Hudgens on a, on a V8 cow and a V8 cow on a Hudgens bull and you know, we'd mix them up. So the only brands that's on my place, Circle F Farms, is either a V8, Hudgens, or a Circle F. Today, I think there's probably approximately pretty pushing around 800 registered Brahmin females on my place. Our plans is to, um, let this Circle F deal grow just as much as it wants to grow. Woody would never be satisfied with having mediocre cattle that would not give his daddy the honor that he feels like he deserves. So, and, and Woody doesn't do anything halfway. Nothing in, nothing in life is halfway. It's go big or go home. Today, Circle F breeds performance purebred Brahmin and F1 Brahmin cross heifers and bulls for commercial cattlemen everywhere. And recently, Woody saw a new opportunity for the Circle F Brahmin herd. One Saturday morning, I was coming to my dealership and I saw a parts house closed. It was a new facility and it was a quarter of a mile from my um, dealership. 
Me and my wife talked about it. Her first question is, what in the world did you buy it for? I said, I'm gonna put me a Circle F Meats in there. In May of 2021, we had an opening of Circle F Meats. Our community loves it. And you know, we very um, community oriented. So, you know, we've hired a bunch of local people here and we at this time, Circle F Meats has got 23 employees. We got a full meat market which you know comes off Circle F Farms, kind of blows me away how well it's doing. Actually doing probably 10 times what we ever projected it to do. It's been exciting to see um, how it's grown and to see the people who come in and how impressed they are with the quality of meat and, and to see their faces really when they walk in the door, the surprise on their face. They're not expecting the kind of market that we have. And it's exciting to see that we're not just pulling customers from Baxley. We have customers from all surrounding communities. And then as good as our, our meat market's done, we've decided to um, open us up an abattoir, a keel plant. And we, um, in the middle of August of this year, we're gonna have um, Circle F meat processing plant. We got some quarter bloods on good Angus bulls, and we're gonna send them from what we call, or what everybody else calls, from pasture to plate. We grow silage, and we grow sorghum, and then also we got a bunch of hay, which we do dry hay and wet hay, what we call haylage. And, and you know, we kindly self-sustained, I guess is what I'm saying, because, you know, we kindly take care of, and we do buy, you know, we do buy some feed, bulk feed, you know, to feed, hand feed our bulls and heifers and stuff like that. I always been the type to kind of just stay in my lane, but everything I got kind of, you know, kind of integrates together. You know, I have um, Woody Folsom Feed, which, you know, we're in the feed business. I have Woody Folsom Trailers, which, you know, we want to sell our farmers and ranchers cattle trailers or pig trailers or whatever they want. You know, we got that. Thank the good Lord for the Brayford deal. After they um, saved my one little car dealership in Hazelhurst, Georgia, Woody Folsom Chevy Buick GMC, Actually, today I own three new car dealerships in Baxley, two new car dealerships in Vidalia, Georgia, and one new car dealership in Douglas, Georgia, and a half of a used car dealership in Baxley, Georgia. Up next. And another thing that I'm very fortunate about, in fact, I met with a man yesterday, and the first question he asked me, how in the world do you get such good people? Woody shares his secret for the success of performance Circle F Farms Brahmin Genetics. That story is next here on The American Rancher. Welcome back to The American Rancher. After starting his entrepreneurial ambitions as a young car salesman, Woody Folsom has since created a thriving enterprise in Baxley, Georgia that centers on performance Circle F Brahmin genetics. For Woody, the secret of his success begins with family. I've always said, you know, my success has started from my wife, which she's done a great job, you know, raising my two kids, which Tanner's 23 and Anna Kate's about to be 20 years old. Um, she, she took care of them and raised them while I got my businesses on the ground and, you know, got everything settled. And now, today, I'm very grateful that Tanner is one of my sales managers. He's graduated from college. Ever since he's graduated and gone to work at the dealership, Woody is kind of back. He's not completely backed off, but a lot of those responsibilities have fallen on Tanner's shoulders. I'm very proud of the compliments that we received continuously about what an excellent job he's doing. Anna Kate likes like a little over a year and she's going to be an accountant and she's going to come back to the dealership. Her professors beg her to go on these huge internships with these big corporations and she's her focus is with family and with the dealership and her commitment is there. And then my wife, Tamla, she's um, she just retired from the Board of Education and um, she's actually gonna um, take over the meat store. And another thing that I'm very fortunate about, in fact, I met with a man yesterday and the first question he asked me, how in the world do you get such good people? 
My daddy always told me, he said, son, surround yourself with good people. And be honest with you, we'll start from this. I couldn't have the good cattle I got if I didn't have the good quality people I got at Circle F Farms. And be honest with you, I couldn't have the Circle F Farms if I couldn't have the good quality people I got at the dealerships to, to, to look after that while I'm at the farm. And then same thing with the meat market. When, you know, good quality people there. I mean, I couldn't ask for no better employees. And, and, and as of we speak today, I got 486 employees. When Woody started this, it started with a mission of being able to bring tribute to his, his late father. It is because of the passion that Woody has and the passion that his employees have that they have been able to grow Circle F Farms to what it is today. That whenever you step into these pastures, into these barns, into these facilities, you can see that it is a place that truly loves what they do day in and day out. And the success of Circle F Meats demonstrates that the local farm-to-plate model is here to stay, that it will continue to grow, and that performance Brahmin genetics have an important part to play in that trend. I think people, the consumer, feels a lot more comfortable. And I think one reason my business is so good at Circle F Meats is they, they ride by my place and they see my cattle. They ride by and say it seems of cleanness the quality of, of the cattle, and then also how good we take care of them. And I think it gives a comfort level to the consumer. We don't do preservatives in our homegrown beef. They like knowing that it's coming from a farm about four miles down the road and that they can trust the quality of it. Commercial producers across the southern U.S. have always relied on Brahmin genetics, and now more cattlemen and women everywhere recognize the value of the breed. And along with commercial producers, farm-to-plate producers across the country have an advantage with Brahmin genetics that other breeds cannot match. Flies don't bother them as bad. They graze all day. You don't see them in the shade. You know, they can take this heat. They'll, they'll graze. They'll fill up and they might go to shade, but they, they're pretty tough to this weather. Our part of the country is hot and humid. And that's becoming a big thing all over the U.S. now. It's just extreme hot weather is tough on animals. You're just going to get along a whole lot better with the eared cattle. So when you take these Brahmin bulls and cross them back on, on boss Taurus cows, you, you know, you, you, you're going to have that high vigor, fertility is high, low birth weight, high weaning weights, and big yearling weights because you just can't beat that cross. You know, it's just the best of both worlds when you cross a Brahmin with, with it, anything. We breed Brahmins to Brahmins and get these full-blooded animals, but we also breed Hereford bulls and Angus bulls back to these Brahmin cattle to get these F1s. It's just to fit different people's programs. You know, everybody's different and got their own thing. We got um, F1 Brangus, which we use the um, 44 Farms Angus bulls and the Gardner Angus bulls. And then we have some F1 Brayfords that we use Johnny Harris Greenview Farm Hereford bulls. And then this year, for the first time, we're going to use some R.A. Brown Red Angus bulls. We do that just for our customer needs. And we also use a few of our black bulls and our Brayford bulls too in our commercial program. Some of the black Angus, straight black Angus cows, we're breeding back to Brahmin bulls to get the F1 product off of that. And uh, we've crossed them with some Hereford bulls and some Angus bulls, red and black Angus. And the, the calves off of those are just phenomenal. You know, quarter blood Brahmin, that really, really takes off for, the, you know, ribeye and marbling and, and uh, the quarter bloods mainly are producing cattle for the meat market. We're producing quality grade heifers with our calves at weaning time. We put them all together and then we'll go in and make selections based on uh, their growth and their, their feed efficiency. And uh, we'll, we'll go in there and do a lot of culling on those and we'll keep some of the heifers back, put back into the herd. Culls will go to the sale barn. We'll cull the steers also, but mainly the steers will go for the meat market. Commercial and farm to table producers across the country, the opportunity to add performance Brahmin genetics to your program is coming October 15th at the Circle F Farms production sale in Baxley, Georgia. Over 180 head of performance purebred and F1 cross females and bulls will be offered. 
October the 14th, you can start viewing cattle at 9 o'clock a.m. on that Friday morning. All throughout the day, there'll be th different things going on at the farm, and Friday night is when things really kick off. Uh, we'll have a steak dinner at our produce barn that you and your entire family is welcome to come and enjoy. There'll be some live music there this year. Um, just a really good time, really laid back, really an opportunity to get to meet our staff and the family at Circle F Farms. Saturday morning, we'll kick things off bright and early with a breakfast starting at 7.30. We also have a surprise this year, so you can have coffee with the Colonel during our breakfast first thing Saturday morning. Our auctioneer, Mr. Steve Frischkup, will be bringing a devotional that morning. Um, that's gonna be live right there at our cell arena. Throughout the day, you'll have the opportunity to have mule and buggy rides. Just a really fun family atmosphere. Lots of events going on. There'll be cornhole games to play, opportunities to look at the horses that the guys work the cattle on. Just a lot of fun mixed in with this cattle sale. Lunch will be served starting at 11.30, and then there'll be lots of good food to eat. And then starting at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, we will begin the Circle F Fall Sale right there at our Circle F Sale Arena. So we invite everyone to come out, enjoy all of the festivities with us, enjoy the weekend with your family right in the heart of South Georgia. For more information on the Circle F Farm Sale, you can go to circlefarms.com. You can find the schedule for the weekend's events. You can see a full listing of all of the cattle that will be available. You can also request a catalog that will be sent directly to your mailbox that will have all 180 plus lots listed in it. If you're unable to attend, right here in Baxter, Georgia, make sure you go to Superior Click to Bid. We hope you enjoyed the show. To find out more about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick. For the entire American Rancher team, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.